post game with head coach Kyle Reckless following today's 61 59 loss to Detroit. Coach, a second place Titans team comes in here and we just give them a great game. Yeah, you know, I mean, our, our players were really locked into the game plan. You know, we wanted to shut down uh, one of the best players in the country, one of the best scorers in the country, Sharita Brown, and we did it. We held her to 10 points, and they had a few players that hit some shots um, that we weren't expecting or hoping, I guess would say hoping, that wouldn't hit. Um, and then in return, we didn't have our big shooters, uh, didn't have great games for us tonight, but I'm very proud of our team. You know, they stepped up and they played um, a great game tonight against a great team in our league. I felt like the game just kind of had all kinds of like small spurts by both teams, kind of trading punches. It ends up with two two ties and nine lead changes. So talk a little bit about down the stretch, especially after we took that late lead, which then, you know, Detroit jumped back. Yeah, you know, they went to zone in the second half, which really kind of threw us out. I mean, we've been begging people to play us in zone all year with the way that we shoot the three. And, um, you know, we just lost a little confidence. And uh, they had one player defending two at times. And we just we wouldn't look to take the shots that were open. Um, and it caused some late shot clock. Uh, situations and you know I think we even had two shot clock violations and so once we calmed them down and got them understanding the zone offense that's when we went back on our big run after they had made their run um, and then we just couldn't close it out at the end. Talk a little bit about the defense I mean the you know the two teams top two teams in offense in the Horizon League and we held them to 61 points on the day and also out rebounded them 40 to 33. Yeah I think when people were thinking of this game they weren't thinking it was going to be a 61 to 59 game I think a lot of people thought it would be in the 80s um, but you know I think that both of us were prepared on game plans when we came in um, to try to stop the other one's offense um, but we we had some great players step up I mean we had 17 offensive rebounds I mean there's a lot to be said for the way that our effort was um, but we didn't shoot the ball I mean that's the most threes we've taken in a game I could I I couldn't believe when I looked at the stat sheet afterwards that we took 36 um, and only hit 10. So um, that was a little bit of a surprise to me. I thought we should have moved the ball a little bit more into the paint and then out um, instead of just moving it around the three-point line. And final question for you today, back-to-back uh, -back double doubles by both Sammy Tucker and Ashley Green. Talk a little bit about the work that they've put in the last two games. Yeah, well, they've just been really aggressive. You know, they've put it, they've kind of put the team on their backs in the sense of saying, you know, whether we're making or missing our shots, we're going to really be aggressive and go after the boards. Um, and they've given us so many extra opportunities, um, especially in this game. You know, when our shots weren't falling, they were so aggressive on the offensive boards in the first half, which was able, we were able to build a big lead off of that um, going into halftime. Um, now we got to get them to do the same one as people are playing this in zone. Um, I felt like we weren't as aggressive when uh, Detroit switched their zone on attacking the boards but those two I mean have been incredible leaders for us and I think they're probably pretty tired after this weekend um, you know they played an extensive amount of minutes and um, hopefully we'll get them some rest before we head on our next two games sounds good coach thanks for your time today thank you